A wee moet, a wee moet. That's a lot of dinkle dinkle. Taylor Four! Beauty Foo. Dad and the kids. What the nugget? Yee yee! Quickly, Rafi. Where's the fire in here? It's just a potential for a fire. Risk it for the biscuit. Oh, it took a minute. Dorman, get your act together. <laughs> Woo! Officially, one of my favorites. four neutrals. She'll get away from you now. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Where did this come from? I said one more time. I don't have enough power to go. <laughs> get it girl. High five. Welcome back to Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. Today we're back on the Malibu. This thing has been taking a spot up in the shop for like what two or three months now. It's been sitting yeah. here. I was like, I'm gonna throw some brakes on her. We're gonna do some burnouts. Ralphie was all into it and then life happened. We went on a road trip and uh, this thing just kind of been sitting here. So we're finally gonna get started on it. Our plan is to make this thing our burnout car on the channel. So we've always been wanting to do some of these burnout competitions and we need a car to do it that's really set up for it. So we've got new front brakes for it and hoses uh not sure yet what we're gonna do with the master cylinder if this one's gonna work or we're gonna have to maybe convert it to something else but we'll find out we're not really sure but right now our brakes are sticking so if you watch the video of the will it start on this thing it does have a little bit of brakes but they stick and it started on first try yeah it did start first attempt on the will it start but the brakes work but just barely and they stick so i know those calipers the boards are probably rusted up so our plan is to get the brakes on it Maybe do something different with the hoops and casings on it. Probably going to weld the rear diff up. So we got full-time Lincoln locker in the back. Uh, and do burnouts. We're not going to have any rear brakes whatsoever. Because who needs rear brakes? We're not. You don't need rear brakes. Exactly. Not at all. This thing has super nice interior for what it is. It really surprises me. But we're going to try to fix a couple issues this car has. And get it to be a burnout machine. Right, Ralphie? Yeah. Case and boiler. Exactly. Boil the casings off. And maybe we can make it into some of these burnout competitions coming up the next few months. Yeah. All right. So let's get started on it. So if you haven't watched the other videos, it's got a 305. I'm not sure that this is Hog Lake status yet. This thing may eventually get a 350 or 383 or 400 or something in it. That would be pretty cool. Maybe some kind of better intake. We definitely plan to do some performance mods on this engine. It'd kind of be cool to take to the drag strip and do some mods to it, huh? Turbo. He always it's goes for turbo. Room. That's my boy. Like, it seriously, does. Seriously, it has a lot of room. It does. But check out the interior on this thing. This thing is minty fresh inside, isn't it, Ralphie? Yeah. Look at this. I mean, look at these seats. Where are you going to find a driver's seat in that good shape? Look at this back seat. It's like perfect. I mean, aside from the headliner, that's really about only thing wrong with this interior look at these door panels i'm basically in love right now i just love these late 70s early 80s is my jam i just think it's a little like too neon instead of neon like a fairmont son you can't compare chevrolets to a fairmont okay you're always going to be disappointed it would kind of be cool to put a tunnel ram on like a big tall intake or you know it sticks up by the hood or a supercharger Oops. man you took it to the next level with that one right. supercharger would be pretty cool Maybe we could work out some sort of a uh, 671 blower on it or something. Yeah. Watch the bumper, bro. Maybe them new hoops and casings we got with that project car coming up on the channel will fit this. Yeah, maybe. Secret project car. Oh man, it only has three lug nuts. Did I own this thing before? What do you think about these hoops? Uh, pretty ugly. Ralph, it looks like our rotors are pretty good and our pads. 
hopefully we can break these. I don't know why these Allen head bolts on these. You get these stripped out and you got problems. These are a 3 8 Allen head. That wasn't too bad to get the brake line loose. Oh, look at the brake line come out. Now, our brakes were hanging up on us. There's a couple things it could be. These hoses swelling up on the inside shut can cause that. Secondly, these pistons in the brake caliper can get rusted up. So it's probably one of those two things causing our brakes to hang up on us. That's why we're replacing hoses and calipers. So we're just gonna reuse the old brake pads here. They still have, you know, half their life left in them, looks like. Looks like the correct caliper. You don't wanna put the uh, calipers on the wrong side or you won't be able to bleed the things. Pretty brown coming out of there. It'll be nice to have some brakes, won't it? Mm hmm You don't need them in every case, but. Gear down. I'm glad it came with new bolts, that's awesome. Are we gonna have luck with the brake line? Oh. Hey, pop loose. This car has over delivered. I don't know. It started first attempt and it did have a little bit of brakes and it jumped the driveway and it did a burnout. Uh, it's over delivered for sure. I mean, best $500 car we bought lately. Look at that, how easy that was. Well, it looks like our calipers and our hoses are right, which is a record for us. Probably because we bought it at O'Reilly's. That was it. It can barely blow up. Probably the hoses the biggest problem we've had trouble out of new copper washers not sealing off hopefully we won't have that problem here that's hard that's so hard to cut i didn't cut that you did cut that and we're just gonna leave the uh, bleeder screw loose while we work on the other side and hopefully some brake fluid will work its way out and bleed itself a little bit so up. Oh wow, yeah. That's what they do. They swell up on the inside like that. You did it all right. Oh my word. How does that even happen? What happens if you don't grease them, kids? Uh, they break down. You run a Friction. wheel. Friction. This happens. I kept the wheels the right all along. <laughs> oh, now we have some help. Did you break out again? Hmm? Oh, it's going to get your drink ball on. And Mike's pets. Jet's a good boy. Oh, man, I'm picking, <laughs> picking the whole car up. Jeep body shuffle, giving you a little shuffle in it. Uh, yeah. Use the hand hammer. That's why the Lord gave it to you. Nothing's coming through. Yeah, nothing at all. Same story here. Our rotors are in pretty good shape, so we're going to leave them alone. These pads are a little more worn, but they probably got a few more miles in them. I mean, I've seen how far my wife's family goes on a set of brake pads. <laughs> These have plenty of life left in them. What are you two doing? Okay, well, I think we got this side all buttoned up now. So now that we got all the front brakes put together, we're going to work on the rear brakes. There we go. So now we just got to kinkle dinkle this line off here, smash her flat, and uh, that way we'll only have front brakes because you don't want rear brakes when you're doing burnouts. That'll be enough. That's a lot of kinkle dinkle. This is why I like to leave the bleeder screw loose while you're working on the other one, because as you can see, it's already pushed the air out of the system, and we ought to already have a little bit of a pedal on this thing. Ready? Push the brake pedal down to the floor and hold it there. Don't pump it. Tell me when you have it to the floor. To the floor. Hold it down. Oh, jeez. She, she's to the floor. Do it again. Just push it to the floor. 
to the flirter. Okay, I'm starting to get fluid now. How's the pedal feeling? Good. Uh -uh. We're going to have to add some brake fluid to this swamp water here. Try holding down hard. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, pump it up. It's got a pedal. Look at that. Steering pump. We're getting basically nothing but fluid now. Not even any Taco Tuesday this time. I think we're good. So now we're going to crank this thing up on the boat tank and see how the power brakes are working because they felt like hot garbage last time. All right, crank it, Lala. You didn't know where we was? Our belly is so tight when you feel it. Well, it's time to try out a brand new casings that came with one of the other vehicles we bought around here lately. Funny thing is, it didn't fit that vehicle, but it should fit this one. Look at that, Ralphie. Man, we're going to be looking fine. Now we just need to find the other four lug nuts. That's the only issue right now. We're only missing four of them. Have you had this problem before? Uh, I can't think one time. There's some on the other side. Oh yeah, we can steal the ones from over there. Man, these lug nuts are gonna look good on these new hoops, aren't they, Ralphie? Yeah. We might should have splurged and got some lug nuts. Hey, triangle when, pattern. When you have to get the skinny solid, that's when you know you're fancy. Well, Ralphie, it's not what I would have bought brand new. But they're but way better than what we had. Way better than those off-brand snowflake wheels. <laughs> I think they're name brand. Oh. You gotta love a good old Unilug wheel. You just can't have too many of them laying around. Just like them Unilug batteries I like so much. Zero. No, oh, we'll probably have a little more than that. This is gonna take a while. Ooh. 20. Exact. See, we can't really afford Chevrolets, so we don't have Chevrolet lug nuts laying around. We have a bunch of Fords, but we don't have a bunch of Chevrolets. I found one. So Ralphie reminded me that this actually didn't have a full set of lug nuts on it when it came in. So we're going to have to buy some lug nuts to finish this project out, it looks like. We're going to steal some off the back for now, though. I wish we had the center catch for these hoops, but we don't. Come on. Beauty foo. This is perfect for it. Oh yeah. So now we're gonna move to the back because we're wanting to weld the rear end up and we need to flush the old tank out so we can start drawing fuel from our own gas tank. Right, Ralph? Yeah. Well, now we got up there, we got some loosey goosey exhaust. Man after my own heart, it's held up with uh, coat hangers. And this muffler is right in our way of taking the rear end cover off and getting to the fuel line. So. What do you do when the muffler's right in your way? Cut her off. Cut her off. We're going to need a saws off this. That's my boy. I don't have an official count on it, but we're pretty high on the uh, coat hanger count on this thing. Look at all that. Man, somebody really spent some time fabricating this. Oh, I think that was the last one, Ralphie. <laughs> That's the same way we fixed the exhaust on that 67 Thunderbird. Ralph, this thing is completely loose. Like nothing holds this exhaust on. We're definitely going to have to weld it up there where it's loose. We've got a count of five, I think. Oh, coat hangers is five. Yeah. Ralphie, now we're going to have to drop the tank. Of course, why don't they just put drains on every one of them? We're going to have to drop this thing down, dump it out. How much gas does this thing have in it? I think it's empty. Is it empty? It's nasty. I hear a little bit. Ooh, nest. What kind of nest? Uh, dirt knobbers. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of dirt knobbers, huh? Yeah. I didn't realize they had a ground spot. I 
I want to take it loose beforehand, Ralph. Now we got fuel lines. There you go. Let's go to just enough to hold it. Support. You want me to help? Can you pull on that from the other side or something? Here, you pull out here and I'll twist while you pull. Is it not moving at all? We're going. That's oh, sore. There we go. Got it. I think we're completely disconnected now. Probably those dirt dollars will want to live on top of that. I need support when my head was laying back like that. This is like grandma and grandpa, dad and the kids. They just progressively get small, smaller houses. I just hate to break up a family like that, you know? Mom. I smell that old gas, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mom. Sniper shootout. Booger to get off. How stuck is our seal, Ralph? Mm. Terrible. Mmm. Watch it. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Look at that, Ralphie. How Brush nasty. Oh, and look at all the chunks and stuff. Not good. It's not easy to drain. Come on. Wait, I got an idea. Oh, there it goes. There's just not a great way to drain this. Look, it just doesn't want to come out. Make a drain hole, weld it up. You want to weld it? Uh. In a, on a gas tank? Ralph, get on that side. Like the only thing it does is like as it goes by, it dumps some out. We can't really get it to drain. Hey, look at that. What if we do like this? We're getting it now. Even the tank has a couple whiskey dents in it. Look at that. Yeah. Which way was that? It was like that. Oh, wait, there's notches for it, Ralphie. You got that wire on there. There's like this right here. You got that wire. We dumped it out every bit we could. Looks like we got basically everything out of there. It's still kind of uh, rusty in there, so we may have to swap out some fuel filters for a while, but we ought to get it out after a few tanks of fuel. But I know how you should do it. Fuel filter, little line, fuel filter. Maybe even another. Ralphie, where do you where do you put gas in on this car? Where's the gas cap? Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hold on. What the nugget? Did it blow your mind? <laughs> that's uh, different. Yes, yeah, that's how the old uh, cars were, a lot of them. Oh, that's so weird like that. Like, yeah, that little lid on yours? Yeah. So since we have all kinds of access right now with the muffler and the gas tank out of the way, we're going to take the rear end cover off and let this thing drain for a while. And we're going to weld the spider gears up. We do a Lincoln locker, right, Ralphie? Yee -yee. I think these things have like 240 something gear, if I'm not mistaken, or 270. We'll count the teeth and see. What is that? Is that good for high speed or what? High speeds. Mm. Which in a burnout car, that's what you want. Well, the Jeep had a drain thing. Well, oh. mmm. My wife, she just loves gear oil. She's like, I wish they made a cologne that was gear oil. She tells me that all the time. Mm -mm. Dip your finger in it and I'll, I'll smell it. You should smell it here in just a second anyway. This should be a 7.5 rear axle. Same thing my dad swapped into my old. 63 Nova I had. They're not super strong, but you know, if you're not launching hard off the clutch or something, it'll probably hang in there for a while. Well, it's got a little bit of pinion slot to it. I'm not gonna lie. But I noticed something here. This wheel is like locked up solid. We're probably gonna have to take some brakes apart on this just to get it freed up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm counting 49 teeth on that, Ralphie. We gotta count the pinion now. One, two, three, all right, 21. Apparently we have a 230 something gear. So we are highway geared to the moon, Ralph. You can go 200 in this thing. But we're gonna let this thing drain overnight now and we'll spray it out with some brake cleaner in the morning and weld these spider gears up. <laughs> Don't think I didn't know she slinked out, okay? <laughs> Listen, I had to take a shower. You Everybody slinked you out is what you did. We, we all know it. You can't say nothing about squeeze because we know you slinked out. One time. 
Well, we've let this thing drain overnight and now we're gonna clean it with brake cleaner, clean these spider gears out so we got no oil on them and weld her up. Right, Ralphie? Yeah. Keep turning, keep turning. There you go, bud. So here's how this works if you're not familiar. A normal open diff car, see them spidey gears in there? They let one casing get traction is all they'll allow at a time. So if you weld up the joints here where they go together, it locks everything in line and basically makes it a spool, which uh, is not too great for cornering in certain circumstances, but you can still drive it. I did it for years with all my cars. Yeah, it's like a cheap way to get traction with both your casings uh, if you ain't got a big budget. It's burned the gear oil. Here we got a... Ralphie, will you get a bottle of water or something? Quickly, Ralphie. Uh, where? The oh. back of the truck? Let me get some. Wawa! Back of the truck. Of my car. What Just small fire. Oh my god. Should we use this backup? Backup's freezing. This one? How did it get on fire? I thought it was your Dad was welding. Should we use this? Still going? Yeah, it's still going. Where's the fire here? Alright, we're doing better now. I didn't expect it to light up like that. We let it dry out for a while after we had sprayed it. We let it air out. But here comes Wawa with a bucket. We I ran oh, man. I ran all the way to the pool. With an empty bucket, because I wasn't prepared. You should be prepared for these kind of things, and I wasn't. So, and then I used water to try to put out a chemical fire. I guess that brake cleaner just had Wait, a, a you mean to tell me that you didn't take the time to slow down? I let wait. it air out for like five minutes. Exactly. I thought that would be enough, and it wasn't. Well, at least I got the fire extinguisher. You've never carried a fire extinguisher? No. Me and Ralph, was on it with a fire extinguisher, just yeah. saying. Well, Thank you. Good thing we hadn't put the gas tank back in yet. I didn't know what was going on. I was reading and all of a sudden y'all were screaming. Dad so, was like, caught fire. Give water. Give water. So I was like, I, I was just like, Whoa. So, caught fire because there's gear on and brake right clear. He tried to put it out with water, but chemical fires can go on top of water. So it just it made it double worse. Ground. So I got the fire station. Alright, let's try this again. I guess there was more fluid in there than I thought. It's toasty. I mean, all this stuff here got pretty hot. I've done this same process several times and I've never had one catch fire like that on me. Okay, let's try this again. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. So we got all that side welded. I'm gonna spin it around. Why won't that turn? Try to turn the other side, Ralphie. He's gonna put his fire extinguisher down first. Oh, okay. This brake's locked up, isn't it? I didn't know it was locked up that bad. All right, we gotta get our brake unstuck. Our hoops are stuck, Ralphie. Man. There we go. Somebody's been burning the casings on this thing. I don't want stuck. Nothing well, What was holding it so much? What we're probably gonna do here, since we have no reason for rear brakes in a burnout car, it's just a potential for a fire. We're probably just gonna take all this brake hardware off here now. <clears throat> Man, that was stiff. 
Yeah. We'll have some spare hardware, Ralphie. Yay. You're about to bust it. Yeah. Don't fall back. That's going to hurt you. Yeah. You are going to yeah, fall back. There you go. Now we're free. Oops. So I'm gonna weld the other side of these spider gears up and we can put this rear end back together. I told you this is gonna happen. Okay, we got her welded up there. You know, this thing basically is unstuckable now, I would say. You could probably climb the old power line hill with this thing. Scooty is for sure that noise is coming from a mouse. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit here and just go ahead and bolt this rear end cover back on with no former gasket on it. I didn't tear the gasket up taking it off too bad. We'll see if this works out or not. See, this way I don't have to wait. Mm. So I'm going to weld this exhaust back in place so it doesn't dingle dangle everywhere. So we got to reattach this exhaust up here to hold it. We're not going to butcher it up like they did. We got some old uh, brazen rods here we're going to use. No coat hangers for this one. This car is way too nice for that. There you go. <laughs> okay, I got sidetracked here trying to remove the condenser. If you're going to be doing burnouts, you, re you really want a lot of cooling. And this thing has no AC lines, no heater lines. It's got the wrong radiator in it and everything it barely fits in here so figured uh might be a good idea just to go ahead and take that out since it wasn't being used so see the radiator is supposed to be narrower than this this is inside of where it is so this this radiator is a couple inches too wide and this is not the right fan blade for this this is a direct fan blade it's not a clutch one which will probably help us for cooling but not good for power so now I'm distracted by what engine is this? Cause this thing came out with a 262 or 267, something like that. So the block number is 3970010. Let's see what that is. What the heck? It's got a 69 to 79 model 354 volt main. She thought it was a 305 is what her dad told her. And this thing, like I said, came factory like a 260 something. He swapped in a four bolt main 350, son. This has got more of a hog leg than we thought. We need to treat this thing with a little more respect. <laughs> it just needs a little bit of tuning and she'll be a hot rod. We need to see what head just got on. He's, he's taking me. Oh, he took a me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it's got a four bolt main 350 in it. Like, I, I have not showed this the respect it deserves. It said that casting number was also used for 302s back in like 69 or whatever, but I doubt that on this one. Well, now we're super curious about, does it have good heads on it too? Oh my Lord. All right, let's see. 462624, all right, let's look that up. 76 CC. 194 valves, 75 to 86 mile, 350 or 400. So it has decent heads on it even. That's pretty good. They're not 202 double humps, but you know, they're not far behind. I'm like so much more excited about this now. I really expected it to have like, they were wrong and it had the 260 something motor in it. No, hog leg 350 with hog leg heads. I actually had a brand new set of small block Chevy Valcor gaskets. A friend of mine, Tommy Hope, he uh, gave these to me. He had them sitting in the garage. First time the man's ever helped me with anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna blow out the factory fuel hose here and see if this thing uh, has any junk in the lines. We don't wanna run anything through it. We don't have to. It was real brown at first. All right, back to the rear axle. 85W140 gear oil here. Taco Tuesday. Well, we're out of gear oil. I wish somebody in my life would, you know, say, hey, we're at the store. Why don't you get some gear oil? I told you to get gear oil. <laughs> Today. We went and got lug nuts today Why for this car. Why didn't you get some? I thought I had a whole gallon. That whole gallon I, is in South Dakota. I had a whole empty gallon, I guess. Is that not gear lubricant? And that is that what you need? It's behind you. And that... Oh, see, I knew I had one. <laughs> it's about empty too. The one you think you have is in South Dakota. Probably. I literally do this every single time I fill a gear oil bottle up. I'm just gonna have to start buying the bottles already done. Like this size. I buy these because they're cheaper and then I spill it all over the side trying to fill it up every time. I think we're full. So 
So we got our fuel lines hooked up. Now we're gonna get this tank back in place. Is it hidden here? I think it may need to go through. Oh, there you go. I love these filler neck behind the license plate deals because the car I drove to high school, Buick had the same thing. About there, I think. Support. Thank you for the support. I don't know why I don't put my head on the little cushion. There we go. This is the best 87 octane money can buy. Hopefully our tank doesn't leak after all this work. Mm. That would be unfortunate. I'm gonna switch from the uh, boat tank to the factory tank. I'll be so glad to have that 20 foot of 5 16 hose back. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take the brakes off this side too. the one that was spinning fine harder to get off than the one that wasn't look at all that weight we're saving there we go we don't need that where we're going all right we're almost there now got our brand new hoops and casings i don't know how old these hoops are but they're not young these things came in packs of four Dorman, get your act together this ain't no ford it's five lugs son We are getting so fancy down here, it's ridiculous. Look how fancy that is, Ralphie. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look at these wall Well, I think we're done, guys. What do you think? I think so. Well, we're running out of daylight, but we can at least back her out of the garage, huh? I love the new hoops on here. Yeah. Give her a pat or two. This thing. I cannot believe the brake light. Don't worry about that. It doesn't sound much louder with the muffler off, does it? No. Let's see if our brakes work. Oops. <laughs> Is it not getting fuel? Did you put a fuel filter on it? Maybe yeah. it's just not picking up yet. Let me look at it. How do you open that hood, Ralphie? <laughs> Magic combination. Well, the fuel filter has some in the bottom of it. Hmm, maybe fill the bowl back up again. Maybe it's just gonna take a second. All right, give her a crank there, Ralphie. Let's see what it does now. Oh, here it goes. It's starting now. Well, it says it has three quarters of a tank. I don't know if the, if the light worked before. It's kind of a big drop off here. We got the ramps they sent you, but still. Whoop. Oh yeah, not a problem. 
at all. Fishway, one of my favorites. You love it? Yeah. <laughs> Needs to sit a little bit lower in the front. We may have to get the blue wrench out and fix that. Okay, well, we got some transmission fluid in it. I guess we're ready as we're ever going to be just to burn out the driveway. I hate that we can't get the thing out the road yet until we get the master cylinder fixed. But it only will do it on the two barrel because the quarter jet's not adjusted right. So we can fix that pretty easily, should be able to. But I hate that the brakes aren't working good. I guess we should just put a master cylinder on. I really don't want to go power brakes because if you're going to do a burnout car and you're holding it wide open all the time, you're not going to have any vacuum. So I feel like manual brakes would be the way to go if we're going to do something. Do you like how it looks with the new hoops? Okay. All right. Well, enough said there. You get it fixed, bro? Yeah. How many, would you tear apart three bikes tonight to get that one going? That's impressive. She put down some 11s for a little two barrel, huh? It just didn't like it when we floored it. Got that bog going. Ralphie, we keep this up. We won't have to reseal this driveway ever. Well, it's the next day now. I'm back out here working on this thing. Pretty sure we're just gonna go with manual brakes on this thing. So we're gonna try to convert this thing from power brakes over to manual brakes. And what we're gonna do that with is a Chrysler Town & Country master cylinder now if you've watched the channel for a while you know we put this on the 67 thunderbird we put this on my old ltd wagon we put this on the f100 truck so these things are aluminum they're lightweight compact cheap and they work so we're gonna try this we're just bleeding brakes around here about every week There you go, simple as that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to make a plate that bolts up here, then drill a hole in the middle of it the same size as this, take this push rod out and make it work inside here. Look all that space we freed up too. Get out. What is holding you? That worked. Broke my funnel, darn. So that's gonna go on there. We go in here, it looks like we should be okay, hopefully with the link. And now we just gotta make our plate. So we're just using the old gasket that went behind the booster as a template. Shouldn't be too hard to make, I don't think. Should be about as easy as the GED was for me. All 
eyeball says that's where it needs to go. <laughs> the old eyeball said. You do that every time. Scares me every time. That's all there is to it. Lucky I brought that bucket of water over here. Yeah. They're Give it a little hand hammer. It won't go in. Remember, flat washer, flat I know. washer, nut. Drama. <laughs> What's your name? Flat washer. Right here. Having trouble? <laughs> I know, I want to take things so bad. What is that? I can't even do anything and blood's rushing to my head. Does this help? Blood down for a second. Hell, Laura, I love her. <laughs> Who's Laura? You ever heard the song? No. Uh, I ain't nobody heard that song. Why does this keep on? Heard that song. This is ridiculous. We'll never die. I ain't never heard that song. <laughs> <laughs> so this has a very big size tube nut on this. So we're going to have to cut this off and reflare it with a smaller nut that fits this master cylinder while the three stooges work on the master cylinder mounting. Bubba, how many you got on there? What? TikTok, you're done. Somebody else got to do this. Oh, this I wall we need to try. One. This has been 30 I'm minutes. I'm kill you. Glock, glock, glock. I'm almost. Oh, it's in my hair. Shush, hold up my head. <laughs> oh, oh, please. Thank the Lord and Greyhound. That's two. Jesus, of all the things. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. It's so far up there. So this is what we're going from. The inside diameter is the same, but they're way different. This is just like a 3-8, 24 tube nut, and uh, I don't know what that size is. I swear, man. Thank the sweet Jesus. That took so long. Did you get it? Yes, I got both of them faster than Ralphie. That's true, right, you did. At least we didn't have to do rear brakes. Right, Ralphie? Yeah. We got everything bolted up under there. Hopefully our master cylinder is good. Our rod that goes in our master cylinder, we made sure it can't fall out of there. So the front should be the rear and the rear should be the front on the master cylinder. All right, we got our rear brakes done. Ralphie, do you think this is gonna make the brakes better? Yes. Just push the brakes down. All the way up, all the way down, you know. Feels like nothing. Hold it down. So now that we got the brakes bled, uh, I'm going to work on this carburetor issue. So what it should be is these secondary air doors coming open too soon, causing it to bog. So if you see, there's a little flat screw right here. Up under here, there's a T10 Torx. So you loosen the little T10, which ours was already loose, uh, may be our problem right there. And we're going to put some more tension on the air doors here. So I'm going to just give it a quarter of a turn and see if that fixes it. So then we just tighten down the set screw just a little bit just to hold it and hopefully we're better now. Okay, well I hope that's not too much tension. Crank her up, Ralphie. Don't be falling in love with this. Give her some wop wops there. Oh, we'll see. Let's give it a test drive. Well, hopefully our brakes and our carburetor are better now. Yes. Well, that's what they say to do what all the viewers said my seat belt is rusted into here <laughs> how is that possible <laughs> theodore roosevelt what is the deal okay we'll just go like this then you want to always take it real easy okay guys look both ways Better. They're not great. They're better.
better. We're just gonna take it down the road, give her the four barrels, and see what happens. She is a torque monster, isn't she? It like chirps them every time. Ah, uh, it's still stumbling a little bit. Still gotta stumble. My Florida there, it's stumbling. We're gonna back up here and make a little adjustment real quick. I'm gonna see where we're at here from zero tensions. I feel like it has an awful lot of pressure. Maybe it has too much. So that's half a turn there, one turn. Like a turn and a half, I think that's too much. Right there is like right at the tension mark. A lot of what I've seen is like seven eighths of a turn, something like that. So this is half that, that's three quarters of a turn. Let's try that. Those metering rods were a little bit stuck too. I gave them a good wiggle. I feel like that's gonna fix everything. Let's try it. All right guys, I hope that fixed it. Um, I think cranks right up though. Let's, let's give her a test rip here. Let's see. Oh, I think. Okay, I think we fixed it. Put you back in your seat. I think that was it. Let's get her out in the country here and see what she'll do. Everybody buckle good? Yes. We've never drove this thing out on the road since we've owned it. I love that. This reminds me so much of my riding with my dad as a kid because my dad had an 81 old Cutlass, basically the same car. All right, let's give her the beans here. What it's doing there is when we give it 100% throttle, it's bogging. When about three quarter, it does good. So we still got some sort of little issue there. I can't give it 100%, I gotta give it about three quarter. Doesn't it remind you of the cop car on the first Rambo movie? Like it's like, oh, when it's chasing him on the dirt bike. <laughs> yeah, and he jumps the bike. You know, it makes the same noises as that cop car did. That's funny. Are you ready? It's definitely it vlogging does. when the four barrel kicks in. Not running exactly right yet, still. jumped the driveway a few times it is riding good on our free casings and hoops we got from that other car deal the brakes you gotta push hard but you got brakes now it's better than it was it's nice that it's pulling fuel out of its own fuel tank now do you think we can make it down the big hill and back up this time without a breakdown yes we can we should just like floor it because or... I, I don't know if I... what did it do it did something weird with the transmission there are we low on transmission fluid? Well, I checked it. Okay, we got transmission issues. It's like it won't it won't go in the third, and anytime I let off the gas, it's like it's going into neutral. But we're making good time. Right now, we've got uh, four neutrals right now, and a park. So it's not one to pull it off. Are you coasting? Yeah, I'm just coasting. I put it down first. Okay. She chirped. It was just staying first then. Let me check the fluid real quick. Pull over here. What's wrong, Wall? <laughs> Every time. You act like this Every... happens all the time. It doesn't happen all the time, it just does. most of the time. Yes, it does. Oh, she's. I don't know what's up. Let's see what it does here. It's showing overflow on fluid. That's reverse. We got that. I wonder if it's just high gear going out or something. Maybe that's right. Why this car got parked? We've never actually had it in high gear either. True that. Well, at least we have gauges that will tell us if anything goes wrong. We don't. Oh, that's right. We don't. No, we don't have any gauges at all. There's second. Still in second. Mm, yeah, it seems like it. Well, it's still.
still pulling right now. Yeah, at least. Well, I think it's definitely in second because that's, yeah, it's in second. You should come back up, like, going quick. Yeah. And see if it shifts to third. Aside from the whole four barrel not working the greatest, it really is driving pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty true. So it's in second right now. Our is brakes it, are working all right. Does it shift down to first? Let's see. That's first. We may not have high gear. Of course, with a 230 rear end gear, we might not need it. Oh, there it goes. It went to third. I just don't think you got too high enough speed there. Should we go out here to the left? What's out to the left? I don't know. It didn't like that. So we still got carb issues to work out for sure. Now, what's it doing with the transmission now? Shift? I don't know what it's doing. It's like it's in between shifts. What's the? Yeah, we got no second gear. We've been here. It's just grabbing every now and then. I don't know what's up. So we probably better turn around. We're we made it down the big hill. I mean, who's to say we can't just make it right back up the rock? Me. I feel like if your transmission is not working right, you should do a burnout and that'll fix it up. Yeah, definitely fix it. And that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me too. It is not shifting. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. change carburetors it would pull through that burnout like wide open it's definitely bogging because the four barrel is not working right all right we gotta make it back up the big hill that's right, second i think i'm just gonna leave it in second i don't think i'm gonna risk it trying to upshift a third up this hill maybe this will let it cool off we have no idea what the temp is what the oil pressure is trans temp we don't know any of that come on girl I wish our carb wasn't acting up. You know, it's possible too that they put the way wrong carb on. Maybe this is off a big block carb or something, you know. Maybe it's way too big a carb for this. It's just not adjusted right or got the right jets and metering rods.
spin till you wreck it. I'm not used to these all motor cars where it kind of bogs on a burnout, so kind of depressing to me when it bogs like that. But I really think though, carburetor's gonna fix that for sure. Yeah. We should do like intake carb, cam, and headers on valve springs. Yeah. yeah. That would wake it up like crazy. Maybe a nitrous kit? It's still all just hanging out in first or second gear. It's not shifting right. Maybe our kick down cable's not right. Mm -hmm. I need to check the kick down. Maybe that's some of our issue. Oh, yeah, We're yeah. We're back with four neutrals again. All right. Okay, we have second. That's good. It's just when it's in high gear, it's wanting to go in and out. Okay, will it shift back up? No. I don't know. Transmission's doing some funky things. I love the, that this thing has clean interior. We have almost no cars with clean yeah, interior. Yes, and we and seat belts. It has perfect seats. Like Even the driver's seat is perfect. And I love a car with a bench front seat where you can fit everybody up front. There's a Ranger, Ralphie. Ranger, Ranger alert. Step side. <laughs> He's crazy about a step side Ranger. Oh my gosh. I feel like this thing could take your Corvette right now. You know? Hero Challenge Tesla. averted. You don't think so? I can smoke yours. So I floor it, what? Oh, it kicked down there. I don't know. Okay, now it doesn't work again. It doesn't like it when I floor it. It's gotta be something to do with the kick down. We're getting slower and slower here. All right, we're back in first, here we go. Yeah, it's addictive when you have a car that makes whatever, seven, eight, hundred, a thousand horsepower, and it'll just spin as far as you want to it can get you in trouble too for sure i had pretty good luck with it but i know people that didn't <laughs> well it looks like we're gonna make it back home guys can you believe it no another one that's made it all the way home it's incredible the no. blinkers work nope no blinkers that's our brake lights on here we go Oh, you're right. You got some in your eye. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, no boundaries. <laughs> I think this is the best $500 car we've ever owned. I really wasn't ready for the whole. Well, it wasn't planned. Jump it wasn't there. planned. Sometimes you just got to go with what feels right, you know? And that felt right. Look, it didn't even diesel when I shut it off. That is amazing. So our timing's close because it it's pretty peppy, right? Mm -hmm. We just got carb issues, and every now and then, we have four neutrals. That's an issue. What? What? Third turns That's into right. neutral. Second is now neutral. You put it down in first, though, and it would uh, take off. I love the old lock knobs. This is the best. Why are you acting like it's not a big deal that you got four neutrals? Well, I mean, I made it home. Why is it a big deal? I'm torn because it would look so much better lowered, but then we wouldn't be able to jump the driveway in it. I say keep it. Keep it like this so we can jump it. Our radiator overflow is leaking. I don't know what all that fluid is, but I don't think it's important. This thing doesn't even have a dipstick on the engine. So when we first got it running months ago, we just filled it up and as long as it's not leaking, it's probably still all right. Well, it's time to put her up and the kids want to have a try at driving it. See if she'll start up. The timing must be pretty close because it's not hard to start and it's not dieseling. It may could take a touch more. Especially if you put 93 octane in it, it might take a little bit more time. Give her a rev rev. She'll get away from you now. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, you're spinning, you're spinning. Back off the throttle, you're spinning. Alright, go give it a little bit. Give it a little bit. There you go. Now give it more. <laughs> you hear it spin? Yeah. You wanna give her a little blip of the throttle there? <laughs> you like that? Yeah, Do it one more time. Why is the way that does that? Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> what should I do? Uh, drive. Back, back 
it up. Yeah, and we'll try it again. Hey. Oh, Lordy. Oh, look at that. I love that. Watch. It's just barely idling. Okay. <laughs> Chirp them. Yeah, go. <laughs> Chirped him. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. That's super fun. Can I do it one more time? No, I think it got enough. The neighbors probably had enough of that. Let me go into that thing. <laughs> Are you you want to try it out? Yeah. Alright, y'all get in the back or something. I, I or one of you. Longer than you did you did say it was. This is not good. This is just not oh good. God. Is that gear? Yeah, you're in gear. I don't floor it all the way or it bogs. Oh, where's the, wait, 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 where's the pedal? It's just that rod. It's that rod down there. Yeah, <laughs> There's put, no pedal get your Crocs in gear. I gotta get my foot on here, hold on. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Lordy. Good God. Mama. Where did this come from? <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Ooh. <laughs> Ralphie's laughing. I'm coming back for more. I thought you knew how to drive. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, Lord. That's You're a wild crazy. woman. I know. I've been, I've been waiting for one to have enough power to go. <laughs> well, you found one. Where you going Good job. It? I don't let me please let me park it. Is that let me gear? park. Yeah, it's in gear. Sure? Yeah, let me park it. Get out of this thing. Get it, girl. High five. <laughs> you didn't know Mama had a dinner, did you? No. Well, you know how we end them off here. Look at this. What is he scared of? Mom did go get it. He probably has reason to be scared. <laughs> I really do like this car. It reminds me of my childhood. Riding around in an 81 Olds Cutlass. Dad used to worked for the mail service so he would drive it to go deliver mail i used to ride it. it had a 301 pontiac in it so it reminds me of being in that car as a kid and dad always drove 80s gm cars he had a monte carlo for a while oh sorry yeah pour i didn't even get a sip exactly pour one out for your homies so i'm thinking this thing needs performance upgrades it would kind of be cool to take it to the drag strip or do draggy testing with it one of the two and do like an intake, carburetor, headers, like cam and valve springs, all the typical upgrades. It would be neat to see like how much faster it would be at the track, you know. Not sure if the transmission would hold up or not. But we do have a power glide sitting around we could rebuild for it. True that, you know? homie. It did pretty good. We didn't have a real breakdown. We had just had some issues. That's different than having a breakdown. It's not the same as a breakdown. Anyway, let us know in the comments if you like this, if you want to see more videos about this car, if you'd like to see drag testing with it, if you'd like to see us do burnout competitions with it. We would absolutely love to do burnout competitions with it. It's really what we're building it for. But we could also do some drag racing in it, you know. It's basically a drag car already. It's got a 350 hog leg in it. Yeah. But anyway, you can check us out on our second channel app. Super do too. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SuperDude88. Why do you hog this? You can buy our t-shirts down below. We don't have a website. Don't go looking for it. Okay? It's not there. We really appreciate you guys watching. We couldn't do this without you. I know I say that all the time, but it's true. Like, I'd be staying in Bonzo somewhere if it wasn't for you. Okay? I appreciate it. That's what I'm trying to say. But we can't finish this off without Rocky and Vainia, you know? And mean Rocky baby now eats Vainia. So, so we might weird. need to see if he wants a Vainia or two, huh? What do you do with these kids? Right, right there. You made it in the car. You went in the car? In my pristine seat? <laughs> that's what you get. On the roof. That's what you get for trying to throw in my know. yard. We might need to do some rust repair video too. Like the roof's got some rust just in one spot down the side where the, the, the roof is. The hood's, that's just surface rust, son. Would you like to see a video of us doing some rust repair on this thing? Let us know what videos you want to see below. Thank you. I can't believe he preferred the weed eat instead of eating his vainas. Look at that. We were over there waiting on you. You never did show. Didn't even go for a test ride with us. He's going to jump up on me for sure every time. Everybody wants to see it. Let's see it. Go. Oh. You're a big boy now. Your son might want one, huh? You going to share one with Mean Baby? I can't believe another goat likes him besides him. You like him, don't you? Oh, he's got a taste for him now. He's addicted. <laughs> Puddings.
She's growing up. She's at least growing this way. Go slow now. It's your turn. Go slower. I'm choking. Mmm. I swear I think she could drink as many as you gave her. <laughs> her wagging her tail. Oh, yes. She's still looking for the RC Cola. Her belly's literally on the ground. Oh, now it is. We've got to get some scale where we can weigh her, huh? We just don't have a scale big enough. I, and I, I don't know if I can pick her up. <laughs> oh, I can't pick that up. No way. <laughs> she growled at me. <laughs> Tell them see you later. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.